When a set of particles are created, communicated, or shared by spatial proximity in a manner that stops the quantum states of any one of them from being independently described, regardless of how far apart they are from one another, this physical phenomenon is known as quantum entanglement. The fundamental difference between conventional and quantum physics is the issue concerning quantum entanglement, which is the essence of quantum mechanics that is absent from classical mechanics. It is possible to find instances where measurements of entangled particles' physical characteristics such as orientation, momentum, rotation, and polarization are fully synchronized. For instance, if a pair of entangled particles is created with known zero total spin and one particle is shown to have clockwise rotation on an initial axis, the other particle's spin is observed to be anticlockwise when examined on the identical axis. But these actions and measurements have seemingly counterintuitive results. Quantum Entanglement in its Scientific Perspective no matter how far away they are, particles of energy or matter can get entangled and interact predictably with one another. This phenomenon is known as entanglement in quantum theory. In physics, the concept of entanglement refers to how particles of matter or energy can join up and interact predictably with one another, regardless of their distance from one another. Because of this inexplicable connection that they nevertheless maintain, Particles, including electrons and photons, can get entangled with one another in pairs. Correlation is the term for this procedure. Considering the spin state of an entangled particle enables one to infer that the spin of the particle's partner or pair is in the opposing direction. If one particle, for instance, is spinning up, its counterpart is spinning down. It becomes even stranger because, to human understanding of superposition phenomena, one can measure a particle that simultaneously has an uneven spin state up and down, while having no single direction of spin before measurement. The measured particle's spin state gets identified during observation, and it eventually gets transmitted to its mate particle, which immediately adopts the reverse spin direction from the observed particle. Quantum entanglement enables instantaneous communication between qubits, traveling at speeds faster than the speed of light, even those distanced by light years. No matter how far apart the particles are located, as long as they get segregated, they will continue to remain entangled. Entanglement is a genuine, scientifically verifiable occurrence. It has been repeatedly shown in scientific investigations and is sometimes referred to as spooky activity at a distance, as inferred by Einstein. According to a notion that had developed, the universe's components were previously closely packed together and continued to be related. Practical research heavily focuses on how to use entanglement to build quantum computing and quantum cryptography solutions. Entangled photons were employed in 1997 by Nicholas Gizen and his colleagues at the University of Geneva to enable quick and easy interaction over a seven-mile distance. Does any system appear to exist concerning quantum entangled elements in the human brain? Could connections to other systems or even the overall space-time continuum be made possible by this entanglement? It's quite perplexing. Providing a physical definition of mind versus brain Explaining cognitive processes that appear to be beyond the macroscopic brain structure's physical computational resources, substantiating and explaining telepathy, telekinesis, clairvoyance, out-of-body experiences, astral projection, paranormal encounters, near-death experiences, reincarnation, past life memories, etc., are all possible if this theory gets confirmed. Are human minds entangled? A fascinating phenomenon typically identified in quantum theory is entanglement, a fundamental characteristic of the cosmos. It speaks about the profound connection and unseen link between two energy particles, irrespective of their physical proximity. The relationship between these particles would still exist even if they were isolated by the entire universe's magnitude. 
Therefore, these particles would continue to correlate and communicate with one another, predictably, without taking their distance into account. Entanglement, which Einstein referred to as a spooky movement at a distance, has been shown in multiple studies to be a genuine and ongoing occurrence. However, no scientist has yet fully comprehended or described quantum entanglement. It is thought that the reason why all particles in the cosmos continue to be connected is presumably that, at one time, they were all one particle. All things, including living creatures, were made from this whole. It seems that the Big Bang theory is entirely supported by this hypothesis. One can understand that it's still startling and perplexing. Furthermore, it is only foolproof if one considers particles to be things floating in the universe that shape all the physical objects in the surroundings. However, people may go one step further. If thoughts are things, and things are made up of energy particles, are human minds intertwined in such a manner that what people believe today can arise in someone else's mind at the same time and intuitively? If so, how can one make the most of it, so that one might ultimately have a butterfly effect of serenity, pleasure, and well-being for everyone on the planet? Is it imaginative? One may contemplate this query repeatedly. The solution to these questions might potentially explain telepathy and other psychic manifestations. One shouldn't forget that the first step to transformation is always being conscious just like with anything else in life. Besides, when people have an inquisitive and open mind, they may alter their perspectives and ultimately their lifestyles. One may continue to learn about quantum entanglement and how quantum doctrines can help one live the life of one's dreams if he doesn't enjoy math questions and scientific discourse or simply doesn't have the time. Also, one may recall the monumental discovery of the human genome's comprehensive mapping in April 2003, it was the first time scientists were able to unravel nature's complete genetic blueprint for humans. That was quite a discovery. But it's a compelling fact that not many people are aware of this development. Around the world, other human genome initiatives were ongoing at the same time. Each study was given a category. The researcher was unaware that others were conducting related studies too. Every contributing nation claimed ownership of the discovery of the human genome once the innovation was exposed. Has someone gone through Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich? In his book, the author discusses the significance of forming a mastermind community to assist people in reaching their goals. Several prosperous business entrepreneurs have asserted that a meeting with a group of like-minded individuals might catalyze a winning concept. The puzzling thing about this statement is that a few of these gatherings were only in their heads. What source do people think these amazing moments and brilliant ideas originated from? Without getting too scientific, one may typically consider how many times individuals have had a friend in mind, who they haven't mingled with in a while, only to get a surprising call from him. Even though it's all incredibly confusing, it is still worth thinking about because examining these ideas might enable scholarly people to make progress in their life. They can now use quantum principles to decide where they want their life to venture out, regardless of the current circumstances or past failures, so everybody can dream and learn. Further Thoughts About Quantum Entanglement Entanglement, if persons get it correctly, generally implies that if individuals know the condition of one dimension through an experience or a measurement, they are inevitably aware of the state of some other element without an investigation or estimation. Thus, there is a connection between the two. For instance, if people are positive about a top card concerning a typical pack of cards, which comprises six diamonds, they can equally assured of the deck's bottom card is not the same. A card set has entangled cards in it. However, it does not imply that there is necessarily interaction between the entangled objects, or, in this instance, between the top and bottom cards of the respective deck. 
However, some argue that until an observation is conducted, every card position in any deck is in an entangled state, meaning that every location in the deck, such as the top and bottom, is concurrently and evenly signifies a combination of all 52 conceivable card values. The deck position so perceived resolves itself from a blend of 52 to an actuality of 1 when an observation has virtually surfaced and the superposition of state falls or the wave function of whatever the combination represents crashes, which then convey that other deck positions have a scrambled order and hence there is entanglement. Einstein argued against quantum entanglement on the premise that it contravened his speed of light confinements, since the two or more entangled objects must have communicated with one another because they were both sitting in a superposition of state. Only a measurement or observation of one or the other object would disintegrate their wave function and nullify the superposition of state. Labeling that spooky action at a distance did not delight Einstein. But according to other scientific opinions, Einstein made a significant mistake by assuming that superposition of state virtually existed. If there is no superposition of states, then there is no breakdown of the wave function, and consequently there is no eerie movement at a distance. Some Concerns Regarding Twins One may imagine that one's twin sets off from point X and moves in opposite directions. The fact that one of them compulsorily wears black apparel and the other always puts on yellow. This practice is well known in the nearby location. Have they both sported a superposition of shirts before some third party interacted and greeted one of them? Has the individual and his twin worn either a yellow or a black shirt, or are both the shirts simultaneously black and yellow? Contrary to popular belief, neither of the twins has folded his shirt superposition wave function when a third party approaches them. As a result, there was no speedier than a light interaction among their multitude of shirts to determine who was wearing which color shade. Some Insights Regarding Electrons What may go wrong with this arrangement? One is thrown east and the other is hauled west when two electrons in the same orbit are evicted from the parent atom. They are entangled because they are in divergent quantum states. One is spin up and the other is spin down, which is apparent. Scientists calculate the electron in the eastern direction and discover that it is spin up. As a result, they immediately know that the other western electron is spinning down. A few nanoseconds thereafter, somebody else confirms that the other electron, located light years away, has virtually spun down. However, there is no interaction between them. There is no unsettling action at a distance because the electron toward the eastern direction is either spin up or spin down when it has been thrown out, not spin up or spin down before the scientists' interventions, observations, and measurements. The same holds for the western electron, which is spin down from the start quite autonomously, disregarding any perspective observation or measurement. What actual empirical evidence does exist for a superposition of state? A superposition of states, in logical debate, cannot exist because, by definition, any meaningful observation or measurement eliminates it. Both merge into one, whole. Still, people never watch the two, it's always the one. Consequently, using the Occam's razor concept, wouldn't it be simpler to argue that there has never been such a thing as a superposition of state, and that either the observer or the measurement has no bearing on any state of reality that is populated by two or more entangled particles? There need not be any communication between X and Y if someone monitors the state of X, as doing so may also reveal the state of Y. Moreover, there is no ominous activity at a distance, notwithstanding the possibility of entanglement in some form or other, in varying degrees. How to Extend Personal Development Using Quantum Entanglement Is it possible to employ quantum entanglement to enhance personal growth? Since all human beings comprise the same constituents as the planets, stars, and the sun, 
They are all intertwined in the celestial soup that surrounds them. All humans are the offspring of the solar system, and subsequently, they are governed at a quantum level by changes happening all around them. However, it appears that there are elements of the universe that can affect possible human growth. But more crucially, they can employ elements of their interconnected world to shape how they experience life on this planet. In contrast to the current understanding of how the universe works, quantum research has demonstrated that entangled particles could get impacted instantly at great distances. Additionally, quantum theory demonstrates that when individuals observe a particle, they have an impulse on both that particle and any potential entangled particles. Further research demonstrates that this outcome will get influenced by people's expectations of it. To put it in a query, what one anticipates happening right now does impact each floating element in the universe and is aligned with that anticipated occurrence. Therefore, if one expects something that affects what occurs, it makes sense to spend some quality time considering what one wants to believe. Learning how to engage with the environment more effectively is a key component of individual growth. What do people think will happen to them if they spend most of their time awaiting challenges in their life? Have individuals seen somebody who always appears to be in the preferred standpoint? Don't they inwardly despise that? People hope they will find challenges once so that they may understand what it's like to live their life. Now individuals can see how absurd it was of them to think that way. They used to feel jealous of those who had more money or seemed to live more comfortable lives than they did. That is, they figured out how to make rational thought patterns. Now people can regulate their thoughts and aspirations a lot better because they have set their life objectives. Life is transforming before their eyes now that they have learned to focus on their goals. By learning to concentrate one's thoughts and direct one's purpose and expectation toward the experiences one desires to have, one can begin to harness quantum entanglement to further personal development. The quantum universe of entangled particles will gradually align and collapse into human expectations if people anticipate leading a better life and being strong, prosperous, and successful. Even if this perception is merely the beginning, there are several ways to leverage quantum entanglement for communication. The essence is to maintain an optimistic view to implement virtues for one's true enlightenment and overall self and community growth. A system gets entangled if its quantum state cannot be explained as the sum of the conditions of its regional constituents. Simply put, they are not separate particles, but rather an integral whole. One component of entanglement cannot be adequately explained without considering the other. A composite mechanism's status may always have the interpretation as the sum or superposition of the conditions of its local elements. If this lot cannot be expressed as a single product ingredient, the system supposes to be entangled. Through numerous kinds of interactions, quantum systems can entangle. When the entangled particles defragment due to interactions with the environment, such as when a measurement is taken, entanglement is destroyed. A subatomic particle decomposes into an entangled pairing of other particles, which is an illustration of quantum entanglement. The measurements of one daughter particle must be well correlated with the measurements of the other daughter component because the decay processes adhere to the various conservation rules such that angular momenta, the total momenta, the transmitted energy, and other elements remain almost the same during the relevant pre- and post-processes. An example of this would be the decay of a spin-zero particle into two spin-half particles. The second particle is always confirmed to spin down when monitored on the same axis as the first particle, since the overall spin before and after this breakdown must be zero, which refers to angular momentum conservation. It relates to the spin anticorrelated situation. The pair is referred to as being in the singlet state if the previous probabilities for calculating each spin are identical. The outcome may or may not be thought to be unexpected. Based on the angular momentum conservation in both classical and quantum mechanics, a latent variable theory would unquestionably be required for a classical system to exhibit this feature. 
The distinction is that although a quantum system lacks precise values for all the determinants, a classical system always possesses them. In a sense, it appears that the quantum entanglement system under consideration develops here. Upon analysis of the first particle, a probability distribution for the result of a survey of the spin takes place along any axis of the other particle. Normally, this probability distribution differs from what it would be in the absence of the initial particle measurement. In the context of spatially distributed entangled particles, it may appear as unexpected. The Prevailing Paradox The prevailing paradox is that if either particle is measured, the condition of the whole entangled system appears to collapse instantly before any knowledge about the measured data can be conveyed to the other particle's state. It's with the assumption that requisite information cannot travel as fast as light and further assuring the most ideal output concerning the measurement of the other segment of the entangled pair. Any laid-back impact connecting the happenings would need to travel more quickly than the speed of light. Therefore, it is not possible to choose the time and distance of the measurements to produce the space-like interval between the two potential measurements. Special Relativity's guiding principles state that no information can move between two such measuring operations. It is impossible to determine which measurement has been taken first.